All right, guys, I got an injury report for you. Uh, DMPs today were Jonathan Allen, non injury related, Alex Smith, calf, Antonio Gibson, toe, Terry McLaurin, ankle, Wes Schweitzer, groin, Thomas Davis, knee. And then we had two limited participants, Kevin Pierre Lewis, ankle, and Tim Settle, shoulder. With that, we can open it up. Hey, Ron, uh, just I guess to open it up, uh, how, what did you see from Alex and, and Terry today? Um, just enough to, to, to know that they're still working through their their uh, their soreness, you know, on, on the side. And, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty much with the trainers right now, just trying to, you know, work themselves through it. Um, did get a chance to watch Alex throw some stuff on the side uh, with the other quarterbacks as well. And, and he was, uh, he was all right. He was. And could you talk us through your decision-making process with Dwayne? Yeah, it was just, uh, I felt it was time uh, to make, uh, to make the move and just uh, take advantage of the opportunity uh, for us both to go in the, uh, in a different direction. Powers. Matt, if you're not on, Mike Phillips. Con. Or John Con. All right, um, Ron, if I can stick on Dwayne for one minute, how hard was that of a decision to make and, and how close were you to doing that the previous week? Um, at, at the end of the day, guys, you know, um, I made a decision that I just felt on Monday was the right decision for us going forward. Um, I made the decision. I informed the owner uh, of my decision. You know, I, I want to make sure he knows uh, he was supportive. And uh, it was just something that I felt we had to do. We felt that it was uh, in, 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 in the best interest of both parties going forward. And then going back to Alex, what is the plan for tomorrow? Do you see increased practice time for him? Is there more optimism with him than there was a week ago? Yeah, there is. But again, we're going to be guarded with it, um, you know, and so he'll get some opportunities and we want to see obviously some improvement uh, going forward. Uh, because again, if, if not, we want to make sure Taylor is getting as much work as he can right now. Thank you. All righty. Thanks, John. Uh, Matt Paris, then Mike Phillips. Yes. Hey, Ron. Um, with releasing uh, Dwayne, you know, you've kind of made these um, big moves to kind of establish um, your culture here in year one, release or trading Trent, uh, trading Dunbar, cutting Guy Steven when he was arrested, now releasing Dwayne. I guess just what is that, what do you think that tries, that says about what you're trying to build? And maybe, you know, there was this question that would Dan let you <laughs> do, do all this stuff or implement your vision? What, what do you think it kind of says about that? Well, I, I think the biggest thing more so than anything else is, is, you know, Mr. Snyder being supportive. He understands that there's some things that uh, have to be done and, you know, he's supportive of that. So that's the best part about it. Uh, and we'll just continue to, to, to make decisions that we feel are in the best interest of the football team going forward. I mean, that's all I can tell you, you know, as we go through it, as we learn more and more about the players, we learn more and more about, you know, what we're doing and how we do it. Um, I, I think that's the important thing more so than anything else is that we're getting to know this football team better and better. Uh, you know, we're nowhere where we want to be. Obviously, we still got a lot of work to do. Uh, we really do. Uh, but we have good football players. Uh, in some key positions right now going forward. We still have some other positions we got to fill, but we feel very confident and comfortable where we are right now. Yeah, you, you know, these are such large moves. Like in your past experience, like can making such large, like changing moves in year one have an effect down the line? How do you think it would it'll kind of well, affect the future? I think so, because if you look at some of the examples right now, I mean, you know, what they did in Miami, uh, I think a lot of people – you know, we're, we're really wondering about what's going on there, but look where they are. I mean, they've done a terrific job there. They really have. And so you've got to look at, you know, at, at, at some other, you know, people around the league to see how things are going. I mean, and, and again, you have to be willing to make those moves um, to, 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 to start fresh, to start over, um, to, to find out what other players can do. That's the other thing too. That's part of why you, you, you do these things to see how other guys can play. With uh, with Taylor Heineke, how much more do you think he'll be able to do, uh, you know, with, with the work you'll be able to give him this week? Well, you know, the, the nice thing about it is Taylor's been in the system before, so he understands it. I think that's why he was able to go ahead and do some of the things that he did. 
on Sunday. Um, you know, I, I get it. They were in a little bit of a prevent at, at times, but Taylor knew what to do. And, and we just feel that, um, you know, giving an opportunity to, to do some more things uh, in practice will help him if, if he's got to be the guy on Sunday. And then is there anything you can tell us about Terry McLaurin, whether he's still in play for Sunday? Well, we'll see. Uh, you know, Terry did a little bit of work with the trainers on the side, and we'll see how he reacts to that in the morning. You know, that's the biggest thing you know, I try to explain is that when a guy does work, it's always about how he reacts to it the next day. Ben, then JP. Hey, Ron. Um, on the one hand, this is just another game in the schedule. On the other hand, there's a lot going on. You have a chance to win the division. We're asking about Dwayne. How close to normal does anything feel, or does it feel just an incredibly heightened sense uh, of, an, of a usual situation? Um, I don't think anything's been normal this year. I really don't. <laughs> There's been a lot of things that have happened. Uh, we've dealt with them. Uh, we've tried to keep our head above water more so than anything else. And, you know, this, everything coming down to this last week, I think is very exciting, though. I'm, I'm pretty fired up that, you know, we, we, we are in this position. We've been able to maintain this position for the last few weeks. Um, it, it, I, I, again, I, I just attribute to who our guys are. You know, they're very resilient. They play that way. Um, and I, I think it's a reflection of, 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 of the way these guys approach things. And, and that is they're trying to keep their focus on football. And in terms of that focus on football, who are some of the guys that you're kind of leaning on this week to help make sure the, the message is to focus on, on the task at hand? Well, the team. I mean, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys that, that get it. And, and so, you know, when you listen to them and, 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 and you watch them, you, you feel like they understand and they, they share the message with each other. And, and that's the biggest thing is that, you know, they take care of themselves. They take ownership of this football team and, and really try to make sure that they're all focusing on what's important and what's not interesting. JP, then Nikki. Hey, Ron. Um, at various points in the past few weeks, you've kind of hinted that if Alex isn't able to practice, you can still roll him out there on Sundays. Has that changed at all for, nope. for week 17? Nope, still hasn't changed. I still believe that, you know, veteran players, specific guys like him are kind of guys that they can watch, they can absorb, uh, they can get it, and then they can go out and play and play well. Uh, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, and then just with the, the news with Dwayne this week, do you address the team and just kind of make sure that they're locked in on the game? Is, is that something that you want to talk to the guys about? No, what I do is I talk to them about what again is 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 vital right now, and and what it is about pre preparation, getting ready for this football game. Um, I don't need to address it because it, it was out, uh, it got out, everybody had the news, and so I, I I I think you know going forward and not covering that. If I had done it, you know, if I had done it on a Wednesday or something like that, yeah. But but doing it on on Monday when. You know the guys were, um, you know, were aware of it. it. I don't think that's something I needed to do. Thanks, Hi, Ron. I, I know you had Taylor for a, a year in Carolina, and Scott Turner had him in, in Minnesota. But did he surprise you at all with what he was able to do in those last two drives? Um, yes, he 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 did. Uh, he he, his retention was 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 really good. It really was, and and, and credit to him as as a football player. And uh, he did some good things. He really did. And what went into the decision to, to sign him when you guys did? I mean, how, how many other names were on the list at the time and, and why him, I guess? Well, mostly because of the fact that he knew the system. He had been in the system. And so him picking it up should be pretty good um, if, we had to, if we had to go to him. Thanks. Pete, Pete's not on the list. Hey, Ron, and maybe this is a little simplistic a question, but – could you have been in this position this year right now where you are, you know, for the playoffs without Alex? Um, well, if, if we had a healthy uh, uh, Kyle Allen, uh, I think we could have. I really do. I, I think we could have. And, and a big part of the reason is, is because Kyle, you know, he, he, he's very similar in Alex in terms of his, his abilities. You know, he's got the same kind of arm. He makes good decisions like, like Alex does. It's got good footwork. Um, it, it, I think we could have been. I, I do. All right. Thanks. Hey, Ryan, you've always had themes and messages throughout the course of the season, whether it's underdogs win or stay humble and hungry. One game left here. The message, the theme to the players as they go on to the, the biggest game of the year. 
Well, it's exactly that. This 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 is a big time game, you know. And and I think the uh, the biggest thing, more so anything else, is our guys just got to understand what it takes. And from the from an emotional aspect, obviously, prime time spotlight, such a big game. Any worry there of the emotions too high and not letting the situation get too big? No, because I thought they handled it pretty well against Pittsburgh, and then and then the Thanksgiving game and down against Dallas. That that. That to me are, are, are two really big games right there that I thought they came out, they played well, they handled the situation and circumstances. Um, I don't think those moments got too big for them. I, I really don't. I mean, because in both those games, we were on the national stage. Um, both those games were were, 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 were times where, where there was going to be a lot of people watching them. And I thought they handled that very well. Got time for three more. Hey, Ron, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. A lot of talk about, obviously, your quarterback position. I'm curious as to what your early read is on Jalen Hurts just a couple of games into his career. We know he's got mobility, but what else do you see there? Well, you, you do see that he's a good decision maker. Uh, he, he's got a good arm, and uh, they seem to rally around him as, as, as a team. So, he's you know, he's got the intangibles that you look for in a quarterback. Um, he's a guy that, you know, coming out, we like because he's, he's a veteran savvy guy. He played a lot of football in college and he played it successfully. He had some big games that he handled very well. Um, so I think he's a guy that's got an opportunity to continue to develop and grow. Is he similar to anyone uh, specifically uh, or his traits maybe that matches up to what you've already seen uh, in any of the mobile quarterbacks this year? Any, anything jump out to you there? Well, honestly, he, he does remind me of Russell Wilson. Uh, he really does. And, 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 I think that, you know, that bodes well for who he's going to be as a football player in this league. Thank you. Hey, Ron, um, you mentioned, uh, you know, we talked about Taylor. For, for our viewers, maybe other than the Old Dominion uh, alumni that aren't as familiar with him, um, you know, we saw this inside the NFL clip where he, Chase went up to him and he said, keep balling, and, and, and Taylor said, that's what I do. I mean, <laughs> this was a guy who was taking online classes ju just a month ago. What is it about him that you saw in Carolina now just in the month here that, you know, allows him to, to be that confident and so confident maybe to start a game uh, of this importance this weekend? First of all, I mean, that's who he is. I mean, he really is. He's, he's a very competitive guy, highly competitive. And um, the thing that you like about who he is is he's sharp. He, he picks things up quickly. Um, he's, he's, he, when, he, when he competes, you know, he, he takes it real serious. And, and there's, you know, there's, that, there's part of that I think that a lot of guys look for is that a guy that, you know, that really pushes himself, um, you know, looks to, to, to get better every chance he gets. And then when he gets the opportunity, he goes out and does the best he can. And, and I think that's all you can ask from football players. And I think his teammates feel that. Last one. Hey, Ron. Uh, you have such a young group of guys, and, and you have that playoff experience uh, as a player, coach. Uh, what can you say about or describe what it's like to play in a postseason game and how much you will want your players, your young players, to experience that when they get there? Well, I think the biggest thing is that is that – you know, we've kind of had a playoff experience, you know, for, for, for the last half of the year, you know, is, is that we've had to win, we've had to win, we've had to win. And then we get a situation where, you know, yeah, we, you know, if you win, great. If not, now we're back in that situation where you have to win. And, and so to me, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how we do handle it just because, you know, like I said, there was a stretch where four games in a row, we had to win to keep ourselves in it. And we did. Then we got the lead and we kind of just floated along. Um, it will it will be very interesting and important for our guys to see how we handle this game. Because again, one of the things that I've, I've told you guys is that this is a group of young players and you know, going forward to be in this position and have been in this position for a while, you hope that these moments aren't too big. Because I, I know this and, and looking ahead to next year, I'm going to feel very comfortable with all these first year players that are now second year players that we're sitting there and go, well, you know, you're counting on this guy. You're counting, yeah, but they played in a lot of big games last year. And that's what being in, a, in, in, in this type of scenario is, is good for them. And hopefully, you know, you get the win, you get in the playoffs, and now they've had playoff experience. That's what you hope for more so than anything else going forward.